create more energy whenever you want it to. Like going on a Southport Toastmasters picnic in the park. <laughs> and particularly, to be as energised as this lady. <laughs> Mary. Always a big smile on her face and having lots of fun. So how would you like to have more energy? I want to explain to you a little bit about my energy energising journey and how it happened. So my life began in Western Australia. That's a picture of me and my family, a very rare picture. And that's me on the left with big hair women in my hair. Mm -hmm. My mother was an encouraging person, a lovely person, and she encouraged us to get involved in lots of activities. So I learned to play the piano, I went to brownies, I did elocution classes, <laughs> and later on I was involved in other activities as well. But my father was different. He was a bit of a negative character, very critical, and I never felt I could communicate with him. I felt a little bit overwhelmed. And a bit later, when I was 11, I suffered at the hands of a couple of bullied girls at school who took it in turns to pick on someone vulnerable. Then when my family moved to Tennant Creek in the Northern Territory, I lived with my grandmother for a while and she was quite critical to it. So what did I do to handle the negativity? I made some friends, I joined the Girl Guides, and I shifted to South Australia to get away from my grandmother. <laughs> and I moved in with my girlfriend's family there. Then I trained as a teacher, changed my own attitude, and I made some good friends. When I returned to Tennant Creek, after teaching for a while, I met my husband and I married, and we had three lovely boys. And I was involved in more activities, including politics, that we want a negative environment. But we did achieve some things. And then in 2001, I moved to the Gold Coast. So what were some of my de-energising setbacks? My marriage broke up. I had breast cancer, but after the lump was removed, it didn't recur, so that was great. And I had to move, I didn't have to, but I chose to move from the country to the city, from this little town of Tennant Creek to the Gold Coast. Now, I didn't really know how to drive in the city, so I had quite a few car accidents. I even <laughs> trashed my car. <laughs> Luckily, nobody was hurt. But I did injure myself. I broke my arm, I threw myself on the floor, cracked my pelvis. Now, if anybody's ever had a broken bone, you would know what bone pain is like. One of the worst things on this earth has probably died away from the test to. So that wasn't so good. But I discovered something about energy. I discovered that bounce back ability is one of the keys to being energised. To be resilient, to be able to bounce back and to be energised no matter what. So when I came to the Gold Coast in 2001, I joined a club called Business Swap, which was a business group, and they were an energised group of people. In fact, when you went to their weekly breakfast, they would start the breakfast with this little mantra, I'm alive, I'm well, and I feel great. <laughs> what better way to start the day than that? And so that's how I came to write the Energy Book for Life, the guidebook to energise living. And so I'm going to talk to you just briefly about three steps. And the three steps I can't tell you all about the book, but the three steps are the questions. And what I did was I asked questions of more than 100 people, including some celebrities like Kate Sobrano and John Newcomb, Anthony Kelly, the arrow catcher, and Barry <coughs> Sinsey, a singer-songwriter from the Northern Territory. Second step is to become informed. And the third step is to choose your energizers. So first of all, three questions. Now I'm going to ask you, what energises you? Who would like to tell me one thing that energises them? Rachel. Being with friends. Being, Being with friends. friends. Fantastic. Being with energising friends. Absolutely. I'm glad you made that distinction. <laughs> one other person. Being with positive people. Absolutely. Being with positive people. Okay. Achieving a goal. Achieving a goal. 
great energizers. What about de-energizers? What brings you down? What trains you? Negative thoughts. Sorry? Negative thoughts. Negative thoughts. Yes. Someone else? Negative people. Negative people. <laughs> right. Well, that's interesting because when I interviewed the people about the energizers, I found that there was like this much, 200 or more energizers. But when it came down to the de-energizing factors, it was very narrow. Guess what the main things were? Negative people or situations and information overload or having too much to do. Who can identify with that? <laughs> So I won't ask you how do you experience energy tonight. But the important thing with all of this is to change your focus. So by asking that question, what energizes me, you can begin to change your energy. Because focusing on pleasurable activities changes your thoughts. And if you change your thoughts, it changes your energy. And then of course the important thing is to take action and do what energizes you. Now I know for a fact that Rachel's husband likes to go um, surfing, that's what energizes me. You probably all have your own favourite things. Step two is becoming informed. So create an awareness of how you can obtain physical, mental, spiritual and many other forms of energy. And learn how to tap into the body's chemical energizers. So a couple of them are endorphins. That's what we get here when we laugh. Endorphins make us feel really great. And the other one is serotonin, which actually is generated in the body when the sun comes up in the morning. So in the book I talk about how you can actually enhance the body's natural serotonin in the natural body. It's obviously all natural. So you need to choose your energizers and there's a whole plethora of different things that can energize you. And this will enhance your happiness, your peace of mind, abundance and enable you to easily handle any obstacles that come in your path. This book will empower you. In it I have paper play, not paper work, to help you apply the content of the book. So if you want to bounce back from de-energizing events, people, you can. If you want to overcome negativity, you can. And if you want to be energized for life, you can. So choose energy. Choose the energy book for life, the guidebook to energized living, and say yes to energy now.